Hello, in this tutorial we are going to show you how to customize each of your indexes and set defaults and set the appropriate columns that you want to view in each index. To do this, we are going to use the pet section as an example. When you are first setting up your account, you may want to see different items listed at the top of the columns and you may want to change the order of the columns listed as well. Also, if you are in charge of updating certain information for certain types of animals. For example, you may be in charge of updating only cats. Uh, you may only want to see cats in this view. To set up your filters, you can do this by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right hand side of the index. Once you click this icon, it will bring up a list of index columns to view and default filters you want to set. So first we're going to start with index columns you want to view and then we'll move down to the default filters. So when you click on select index columns to view, it will bring up a list of all the columns that are currently showing. And on the right hand side, we are going to show you all the columns that are currently hidden. Anytime you want to add a column to your view, all you need to do is just drag the item over from the right hand side to the left hand side and put it wherever you would like. In this case we're going to put it at the very end. Scroll down to the bottom and hit save. Once you do that you will notice that the birth is now there. It's all the way on the right hand side. Anytime you want to reorder it you can just click this again and you can move it wherever you want on the page. Now you'll see it moved from over here to right after the ID column. Again, very easy to add columns. Uh, if you are responsible for only looking at cats or dogs, you're also able to set default filters as well. So to do that, you just click default filters and then you select the type of animals you want to view. Uh, you'll notice that this uh, also applies to pet statuses. So if you want to see only available pets every time this page loads, you can just set it to available and when you save it it'll refresh the page and you notice that all we're showing now is available pets uh, if you only want to show available cats you can set the pet type to cat only and click save and you'll notice it'll refresh again and now we're only showing available cats uh, so this is just a way to set default filters anytime you want to change the filter when you're on this page uh, you can click this little filter icon. You'll see that this is already checked off for you, but if you want to remove them, you can just either hit Reset Filters, which will remove all the filters, uh, or you can just click on the individual tab and hit the Delete key, and that will remove it as well. These filters are actually found in almost every section of the website. Uh, for example, if you go to Reminders, uh, we have the same things here, and in Medical Records, we also list all the columns and all the filters. Uh, you'll notice that the columns are different for each section. They're based on what type of information you can enter uh, in each section. Uh, basically, anything that you can enter can become a column. So uh, you're really able to customize this however you want. Um, it's a really great thing. A lot of people uh, you know, like to see certain things. So uh, this gives you the flexibility to do that. And again, it's in pretty much every section of the website. So uh, you know, definitely take a look. Uh, if you're looking for some information, especially in applications, uh, there's a lot of columns in here that show you when you change a status and which status it was changed to. A lot of organizations find that very helpful. So definitely look in the different indexes, play around, customize it however you like, and you should be able to set everything up just the way you want it. This concludes the tutorial for how to set up and customize each index of your established account.